What is going on everybody and welcome back, MG Marine Tech here. And today we are going to be doing screenshot breakdown number two. I think it helped out a lot of people. I got a lot of good reviews on it. I'm gonna keep this series going. As always, if you guys like these style content, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and let's dive into this screenshot breakdown. All right guys, so this is the screenshot that we are gonna be breaking down today. Now, this screenshot I originally found on Garmin Marine Electronics Facebook page. And the person who posted this picture had a few questions about it. And I thought this was such a great picture to use on this. I asked him if we could use it and he said yes. So here we are. First thing I'm going to say is if you guys do not have a combination that is like this where you have down imaging and 2D sonar uh, set up half screen like this and running from top of your screen to bottom of your screen. If you don't have a combination set up like this, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you use this style combination, especially if you are new to uh, any type of sonar. This right here will help you learn and understand what you are seeing in both different types of sonar at the same time. Just like with side imaging, I'm gonna kind of break down these two different types of sonar really, really quick, but there's one point I wanna make here. That is that what we are seeing here are just the same exact returns in two different types of sonar. So what we are seeing on the left side of our screen in down imaging is the same exact picture that we are looking at in uh, our 2D sonar. This is another reason why I like to run this combination is just because it's in our 2D screen does not mean it's gonna be in our down imaging screen and vice versa. But let's break down these types of sonar. Now again, just like our side imaging, we have this bright beam at the top that's on both our down, down imaging and our 2D sonar. So I'm gonna highlight them both at the same time and I'm sorry for the glare on this screen. Uh, this picture was obviously taken with a phone or whatnot, but uh, this beam across the top here, this beam is where shoot a beam straight down underneath your boat. And that is, this is also why I like to run this combination of half screen uh, from top to bottom because the sonar works the same way. It runs top to bottom. Just a little bit different than side imaging. Everything on the right side of our screen, so this area right here, is the newest returns. And same thing over here. These both operate the same way. These are the newest returns and everything moves this way on our screen. So everything on the left side of each, each one of these different types of sonar is old news or stuff that the boat has already gone over. Now, just like uh, side imaging, this black area right here that I'm highlighting, this is the water column. So from the transducer all the way down to where it first hits the floor, that is the water column right there. And same thing with our 2D sonar. That is the water column there, right there. So you're looking at the water column just in two different types of sonar. This first return here and down, this is the floor. And one of the nice things about down imaging as compared to uh, the 2D sonar is the down imaging, you actually get a little bit of floor coverage. So you get to see a little bit. This looks relatively sandy to me, um, but the down, or sorry, the 2D sonar, this is the floor over here as well, but you're not seeing, you're just seeing a completely 2D uh, shape there. You're not seeing any of the floor. So uh, this area with 2D can be used to determine uh, bottom content if it's a very hard bottom, soft bottom. These colors in here can change and also the thickness of this red. So depending on your color scheme, this uh, bottom will be different colors, but this color scheme, obviously it's red and it starts to fade off. So those are the fundamentals of each different types of sonar. They work very, very similar to one another, but let's kind of pick out some of the things we see. The first thing that should stand out to you, especially in the down imaging picture over here on the left, is you can really, uh, without being taught what you're looking at, you can really determine what these things are very, very easy. And that is the beauty of down imaging is uh, the picture is extremely clear. Now this person has this unit dialed in very, very well. Uh, you can see each individual little leaf and stick and twig and whatnot. Um, but these are all trees right here. That's all trees. This is a tree. This is another tree. And the reason I'm gonna call them trees rather than weeds is because we have to take into something 
uh, something into account and that is our water depth so uh, we are in 70 foot of water so let's do a little explanation there and why I'm gonna call them trees this line right here where the bottom meets uh, our little scale over here that is gonna be 70 foot so we're gonna draw a line straight across the bottom here roughly that's 70 foot now we're gonna go to the tops of the trees right here and we're gonna draw a line straight across and for argument's sake we're gonna call that 45 foot so 70 minus the 45 in between these two lines is 25 foot so those are either some extremely tall weeds or they are trees that have been submerged and that's exactly why I'm gonna call them trees so let me go back to these trees here real quick so I'm gonna circle this pile of trees now this pile of trees is this right here so again same exact object same exact returns in two different types of sonar so if you uh, obviously we know what this is if you go over here you may be confused you may say holy cow this is a huge pile of bait fish huge pile of uh, fish I hit the mother load well not so fast if you didn't have this down imaging up you might be sitting there and just getting snags rather than fish because that is purely just some trees now there may be some fish hiding in there where we can't see but it's not what we would expect uh, that is not a big pile of fish. Now moving on to the right of this picture, we have another extremely well-defined tree right here, and that is in uh, here as well. So again, same object, two different types of sonar. Now one of the kind of dead giveaways that something may not be a big pile of fish is when they are stacked, these arcs, things that are on 2D sonar will show up in arcs just because of the way they go through the sonar beams. When these arcs are all the same, you see how they're all kind of all this, it kind of goes like this, uh, but see how they're all rel relatively the same and they're stacked right on top of each other? That's usually a good indication that what you're dealing with there is weeds. So if you didn't have that up in just a quick and dirty way, it's either weeds and or a tree. Again, it's the reason why I like running this type of combination we can clearly see what it is. As I said before just because it's on down imaging doesn't mean it's on 2D sonar and vice versa. So we can see this faint return here and there's also a faint return right here and those aren't really on our 2D so that's missed information on our 2D. This one is a little bit on there but it kind of is overtaken by this other bigger harder mark around there. So I just wanted to point that out. Just because it's on one doesn't necessarily mean it will be on the other. And now for the main event of this picture. And that brings us to this little guy right here. Now what I have circled right here and right here is a pod of fish. Now I believe the original poster of this picture on the Garmin Marine Electronics Facebook page was curious if this pod of fish that we have circled here is... Uh, something that he should have spent some more time on, maybe pursued, or if it was a pile of bait fish. Um, and uh, some of the people on there were chiming in saying maybe, you know, this was uh, probably just a pot of really, really small fish or a pot of bait fish or minnows, etc. Now, I'm going to uh, kind of disagree with that, and I'm going to explain to you why. As we stated before, these trees right here, from there to there in between these two lines was 25 foot right so uh, again we have to take into account the depth of water we are, we are in and if between these two trees or sorry these two lines was 25 foot uh, just using some common common knowledge and some you know common sense here uh, how do you think these spots would show up now I'm going to say that a, uh, a minnow and some bait fish, some really tiny bait fish, down at uh, 70 foot of water, well these are really in 45 foot of water, but in 70 foot of water are going to show up extremely small to the point where you're probably not going to be able to uh, pick them out. Now if we look into these, uh, this group of fish right here, you can clearly see individual marks. Now obviously down here when they're tight, grouped tighter together, uh, they kind of all blend together. But up here towards the top, there's individual groups. That gives us a very good clue that what we are looking at is a relatively large school of decent-sized fish. That's just something to take into account 
This is what fish look like on down imaging. This is clear as day uh, fish right there. Jumping over to the 2D, we can see that um, they are there, but they're not showing up how typical fish would show up on 2D. And this may be a product of this person's settings. I would uh, probably say that his gain is down a little bit too much. Uh, that's hard to say without being there. The second picture I'm going to throw up, obviously same combination as we talked about before. And again, this is a perfect example of what fish look like on our down imaging right there. And again, on our 2D, we see this arc right here. Again, I think the settings of the 2D are off a little bit. Gain might need to be turned up a little bit more. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what fish on down imaging will look like. And you can clearly see, again, we are in 52, almost 53 foot of water at the moment. These fish were actually probably in about 55 foot of water if we draw that line over here. This group of fish right here, you can pick out each individual fish in there. So again, that is a good size school of fish. Um, I think the person was looking for stripers. I'm not 100% positive on that one anymore. But I would definitely say that this person has their down imaging dialed in very, very well. You can see these fish are holding over a sandy bottom. And they are grouped up very, very tight. Again, I'm not going to call these bait fish because of the depth of water they are in. It's, this is a pretty cool picture. And it definitely shows how good this down imaging can be each individual fish right there. You could probably count these all out if you wanted to. Whereas in your 2D, you'll get a blob like this. You can, not very good target separation in this one, but uh, again, that is probably the settings that this person had for their 2D. I would probably recommend turning the gain up a bit and maybe play with the color gain as well to start getting some better returns out of this 2D. All right guys, there we go. That was part two of a screen breakdown. Today we just did a combination of down imaging and 2D sonar. I love this combination. I recommend it to everybody that is new for sonar because it is really, really good at teaching you what you are seeing in both different types of sonar. As always, if you guys do like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Let's me know to keep kind of doing this stuff. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It truly does help me out. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.